hi guys welcome back to my channel today i have this amazing recipe for one of my favorite soups which is the okra soup so if you want to know how i made this so keep on watching guys and if you're a new subscriber my name is anita william and thank you to all my ogs firstly guys i'm going to be boiling my meat in here i have some beef also i have some tribe which is shaki uh, like we call it in nigeria and also some cow legs i'm also gonna add some salt some seasoning cubes it's so hard i just put a pot on the stove i know some of you are wondering why i use just this few seasonings and that's because when i make soups i try to minimize the seasonings i use because i don't want a situation where the seasonings take over the taste of the original soup so that's by the way guys now i'm going to add a little water and i'm going to allow it to cook and simmer for a minute and that's that now it's been 10 minutes and um, the meat is probably soft but not soft enough so i'm going to be adding enough water to bring this meat to a real cook and i'm going to stir a little and i'll be covering and waiting for three more minutes on low to medium heat so guys it's been some few minutes and voila my meats look all cooked so i'm just going to be stirring this and i'll be setting it aside for the soup proper so now i'm just going to be boiling my fish separately and usually i really don't use so much to season my fish so i'll be just adding little water and um, a fish mixture seasoning this seasoning contains garlic ginger salt and bouillon cubes and i'll be covering for some few minutes my fish looks cooked now so i'll be putting it down because i want it to stay in shape in the soup now guys i'm going to be hand chopping my okra when it comes to chopping okra yeah you can do whatever you like some people use a grater some people use a food processor but for myself i will be using my hand and a knife so i'll be chopping them with my hands So here you have it guys, okra chopped and ready to be cooked. I'm also going to be cooking with some prawns. I'm going to be taking off the skin and the shell and I'll be washing it and setting it aside. Now I'm going to be preparing the pepper and onion. In here I have one big pepper which is uh, the chili pepper and it's called satashi in nigeria and i have onion and i have the i have a white and the pepper onion also i have the scotch bonnet which is called atarodo and yes i've blended it and um, it's ready to be used so let's dive into the soup proper i'm going to be adding some oil into the pot and i'm going to wait for it to heat up a little and um, it's on medium heat by the way now that it's heated up i'm going to be adding some crayfish and i'm going to be stirring this for few seconds literally few seconds i'll be adding in my pepper mix and i'll just stir for a little while after which i would cover to allow simmer for a while and now that it looks well cooked i'll be adding in the meat stock alongside the meat and i would stir this a little and i would cover it to allow it to cook now it looks well done so i'll be going forward to add my prawns which i'm going to mix in well and cover for a few minutes to cook now that it is cooked, I'm going to be adding the okra and um, this is something I do or rather my mom has taught me from the onset. Whenever I put in my okra in my soup, 
I don't cover the pot because I want it to retain its slimy texture. I don't know, I see a lot of persons cover it, but I feel like, well, this is what I've known, so I stick to it. Now I'm going to be adding my fish that I previously parboiled. Mind you, I want them to stay in shape, so after adding this fish now, the way I am going to be stirring it is going to be quite different. In fact, I don't see myself stirring the pot. I'm just going to try to touch the edges and try to mix it with a little bit of sense so now i'll be adding the last batch of okra this ones i didn't shop as tiny as i shopped the previous ones and um i'm just going to leave this on fire for the next three minutes and that's it my soup okra soup is ready and ready for consumption Yeah, you have it. I don't know about you, but I cooked this meal and I'm already salivated. So I hope you want to try this and I hope you're going to try this. So join with me. I'm going to eat right about now. And yeah, this is it. I hope you like this recipe. So guys, what's your take? What do you think? Do you think you like this recipe? Do you think you're going to try this recipe? You can tell me whatever meal you would like me to try next and yes, I don't mind. I could consider trying it and yes, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this content and I hope it's useful to you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.